Today, we will be discussing Alexander Hamilton, the first Secretary of the Treasury for the United States of America, and his influence on the national bank system. Now, I know most people are familiar with the show Hamilton, but do you really know about Alexander Hamilton, the man who this show is created to highlight? Let's take a closer look. Alexander Hamilton was born between the years of 1755 and 1757. We do not know his exact date of birth due to him being born in the British West Indies, but this is the best estimate that we can provide. He finally arrived in the United States in the year 1773 when he was 16 years old. He came to New York City in search of a better life, and four years later he became the assistant of General George Washington after only a few years in the military, where he proved himself to be a strong leader. Hamilton eventually led the Battle of Yorktown and was a major factor in ending the Revolutionary War. The next major part of Hamilton's career was his involvement in politics. He was elected to be a delegate for New York and during this time he met with other delegates to attempt to fix the Articles of Confederation. Hamilton expressed that a reliable source of revenue would need to be in place in order for a resilient government. He then wrote 51 of the 85 Federalist Papers and defended the new Constitution proposal. Hamilton went on to be a powerful advocate for the ratification of the previous Constitution and argued against the anti-Federalist views. He eventually assisted and was successful in the overall ratification process. When George Washington became President of the United States, he appointed Alexander Hamilton as the first Secretary of the Treasury. After the Revolutionary War, there was no common currency that was being used. Hamilton believed the federal government should take over states' war debts to fix problems and establish federal power. Hamilton then created the first bank of the United States in 1791 on a 20-year grant. Hamilton was just 24 when he created the first bank. He modeled the bank after the Bank of England and obtained $10 million for startup capital from selling stock in the bank. Jeffersonians believed that the bank was an unconstitutional use of federal power. Hamilton believed the Constitution did not have any indication of banking, so he established eight branches in major, major cities of the colonies and had the main branch in Philadelphia. Hamilton was also one of the first banks to operate as a commercial bank. He believed it would help boost the nation's economy by doing things like extending credit to businesses to ensure success. It was also put into place to control the money supply and regulate the amount of notes state banks could issue by transferring reserves to different parts of the country. The Continental Congress was forced to pay for the Revolutionary War through Continentals, which are borrowed and issued funds without collateral. This in turn caused millions of dollars to become worthless. The U.S. sent a message with this that they would honor their debts by converting war debt into bank stock and have not defaulted since. This bank eventually failed due to the charter for the bank expiring, but it laid the foundation for both the second bank and the current system that we have right now. After his five years as a Secretary of the Treasury, Hamilton returned to his practice of law, but still kept his influence in politics. This is evident in his influence in the election between Aaron Burr and Thomas Jefferson. Hamilton was not a fan of Jefferson, but he disliked Burr even more. He eventually assisted in getting Jefferson elected as president, and he also helped to not elect Burr for governor as well. Burr felt betrayed and vengeful towards Hamilton, and this eventually led to Burr challenging Hamilton to a duel. This duel led to Hamilton being fatally wounded and passing away the next day from his wound. Alexander's influence on the banking system can still be seen today in our current banking system, and his legacy lives on through the production of Hamilton.